Hi, I'm George with Blackbird Realty in Las Vegas, another pretty face in real estate. Today, we'll talk about the pros and cons of having a property manager. The first pro is the property manager is going to find you a qualified tenant fast. This is going to save you money, could save you a couple of months worth of rent because the property manager will have a system in place to effectively advertise your property, screen a tenant, and get them in there and getting the cash flow into you. The pro number two is the property manager is going to have a lease that's going to protect you. It's going to define the terms of the rent, when it's due, when it's late, what happens then, what the tenant can do, what the tenant can't do, who mows the lawn, who takes care of the pool service, who pays for that. And it's also going to comply with land, uh, local, state, and federal law. Pro number three, the property manager will deal with the day-to-day -day issues of the property. This is going to save you time and money. I'm sure you don't want to be hearing from the tenant and taking away time from your golf game or, you know, an important meeting that you're at. Pro number four is the property manager is going to collect the rent for you Make sure that the funds clear the bank and then he'll deposit that money into your bank account. The next one is that the property manager will follow up on any unpaid rent and pursue it. He'll um, file a notice with the constable, give the tenant notice that he's got to pay the rent or move, and follow the process through. You won't have to hire a lawyer to get this done, and that alone will save you some money and a lot of aggravation. The property manager is also going to have licensed, qualified contractors to maintain the rental. When something goes wrong, you don't want to have an amateur going in there. You want to hire a professional. Professional is going to have the appropriate insurance should he create a problem, and an amateur won't. If you think it's expensive to hire a professional, try hiring an amateur and see how that works out for you. Now for the cons. The property manager charges a fee to find a tenant. Well, that's true. Finding a qualified tenant takes time to screen and investigate. So that's one of the cons for you. Second con is that the property manager charges a small fee each time he collects the rent. Also true, but the fee is worth it and you'll find that out the first time your tenant doesn't pay your rent and you don't know what to do about that. Con number three. The property manager is going to listen to the tenant, side with the tenant, and want to make repairs. Probably also true. The property manager is going to want to limit his liability, your liability, and his risk because he's not being paid a great deal of money here. Con number four. Property management phone calls always cost me money. Not with us. I'll pay for the phone call, but, you know, good news, bad news, uh, I'll pay for the call. The last con, the property manager won't do anything for free. Also not true. I'll send you a birthday card on your birthday, no charge. If there's other topics you'd like us to discuss in uh, our weekly forums here, please let us know in the comment section. Let us know what you think of our uh, videos. And uh, have a great day. See you next time.